Hey guys, how you doing? Are you Mr. Mason? Awesome, I'm Jill Benison. You know, when your child breaks their bones, they often will go through a process of healing. And in pediatrics, it can be a slightly different than adults. But the three phases of healing would be inflammatory, which is kind of when, you know, they have all the swelling and the acute pain, and then their, then their body will go through a reparative phase. And during that phase, their body actually just makes new bone and starts to lay down this early bone, which is almost like sticky glue is what I tell the kids. It helps kind of hold the bones together. And then after that phase, we go, it goes into reparative and remodeling phase is the third phase, remodeling. And so because of the remodeling phase in pediatrics, we can actually often treat our fractures with just immobilization and casting. Some of the time they do need surgery, but most of the time we can treat with just casting because of this amazing remodeling that pediatric bones do. So even if your kid's bones are a little bit angled or maybe mis um, angled or kind of shortened or they're a little displaced and they look like that on the x-rays we show you, over time they actually will go through that reparative phase make that early bone where it's strong enough to get out of the cast and then over time it's actually going to kind of straighten out which is so awesome. I often tell kids their bodies are like super they're like superheroes they can just straighten their bones as they grow so now a lot of this will depend on where the fracture's at what type of fracture it is and how old the patient is. And the younger the child the quicker it will remodel and actually the quicker it will heal. The closer the fractures to the growth plate also affects how quick the bone will heal. Overall, another great thing to remember is that the bone will get back to the same strength. And so even though there might be some angulation that's present, typically it doesn't often affect their motion or their strength over time. And we can usually let them return to their sports and activities um, once they start to enter that remodeling phase. You know, it's really cool treating kids because again, it makes the, their, their bodies and how they develop make our job easy. And so most of the time we can uh, reassure families that even though there's some angulation that's present, um, again, they'll remodel those, bo those bones and they'll become straight and really have no long-term complications.